This storyline will make Hieronymus Bosch look like he was doodling kittens. I have vivisection, self-cannibalism, a special little something I call the Horaborus. Now, <laughs> I don't want to appear immodest, but this is the apex of what the park can provide. Horror. Miss anything interesting. Romance. Titillation. Leonardo Perry the modest. Our most skilled guests will fight their ways to the outer limits of the park, besting fierce and braves, seducing new bar maidens, befriending tragically ill-fated sidekicks, and, of course, like all our best narratives over the years, our guests will have the privilege of getting to know the character they're most interested in, themselves. I present our guest's next obsession, Odyssey on Red River. No. Sorry? No, I don't think so. We, you don't th think... What is the point of it? You get a couple of cheap thrills, some surprises, but it's not enough. It's not about giving the guests what you think they want. And that's simple. The titillation, horror, elation. They're parlor tricks. The guests don't return for the obvious things we do, the garish things. They come back because of the subtleties, the details. They come back because they discover something they imagined no one had ever noticed before. Something they fall in love with. They're not looking for a story that tells them who they are. They already know who they are. They're here because they want a glimpse of who they could be. Billy! Let's go! The only thing your story tells me, Mr. Sizemore, is who you are. Or isn't there anything you like about it? What size are those boots? You want to say, Mr. Lowe? The board, sir. Yeah? This might ruffle some feathers. We promised them a new storyline. They shall have one. Something I've been working on for some time. Something quite original. Mm -hmm. 